Hey guys, it's Ophelia. So, in today's video, we're going to be doing an altar tour. Your guys' fave videos. And I'm so excited to give you an altar tour today because I recently just moved again. I actually have a really cute altar this time. So, the first altar tour that I did, I had a white altar. We played a little, like, rise up thing to put all my extra stuff on it. And I have that type of altar again but it's like also a little bit bigger and there's like a curve and another side and i decorated it super cute i love my altar when i have a good altar i notice i attract a lot of things in my life that are abundant and make me happy and feel very full and prosper if you don't know what an altar is it's for witches or just for spiritual people or it could just be for whoever it's kind of just a magical little space where you put all your witchy belongings so i have a bunch of crystals and candles and herbs and books witchy books and tarot cards and everything like that uh, and then uh, whenever i want to do a spell or manifest or create a herb jar or magic or do whatever i come to my altar so i didn't just get all these things at one time i've definitely gathered all of them throughout the years your altar can hold whatever you want you can find some stuff outside and place it on your altar or if you have some type of like old thing that's been in the family for a long time you can put it on your altar or if you have any crystals it's kind of just a witchy place to put all your witchy stuff on it and it's very beautiful and magical so thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you enjoy the video so Let's begin the altar tour. I think we're gonna start um, over here. So yeah, let's just begin the altar tour. This I got to actually wear yesterday. I can wear it whenever I want, obviously, but I usually wear it to um, the Renaissance Festival. It's like a, a little witchy town. You go into the woods and everything is like olden days and it's so beautiful there. Anyways, I got this magical pendant there. It's a triple goddess with a butterfly and an eye inside, so it's beautiful and I love it so much. So I also got this little mushroomy from the Renaissance Festival. This girl was wearing a huge mushroom hat. She was literally wearing a ginormous mushroom hat. My sister was like, I love your mushroom hat. And then she just whips out her hands and goes here. So she gives me this little mushroom. Um, yeah, my sister got one too. We have Astro Dice. Um, so these tell me zodiac signs or they kind of give me time frames, time frames, honestly. So like when I'm giving a tarot reading, I can be like, what's their zodiac sign? Or what month is this going to happen? Or what this kind of, this is all the, um, planets. Uh, so if you understand the planets and the placements, you can also do that. So like this is sun. This is Taurus, and this is July. Oh my goodness, that is so weird, guys. Okay, so my sun is in Cancer, and I have a Taurus moon. Magical. This is like a mini herb jar. Oh, this is a mini herb jar, and it's an evil eye. This is a nail that I had. It's just really pretty, so I wanted to put it somewhere. These are little opal beads. I kind of want to put the beads in here, because this is where I keep all my beads. And then we have letters in here. So again, when I'm doing tarot readings, I can pull out some initials or I can spell some words. So I have a V. Right away, I see the word vid. So I know something about a video. So if I was in the middle of giving a tarot reading and I pulled the word vid, I would tell you guys that something about a video is going on and it would go with the reading whatever it is but that's just a little clue all right over here we start getting into my herbs so we have some cinnamon this is eucalyptic spray lemon balm i have bay leaf i have witch hazel leaf i have rosebuds i have 
uh, heather flowers, which is my like newest flower herb. I haven't actually had this yet, but I've already used it in a little um, potion thing and it's so adorable. I love this. I love the green and the pink, it is very. But yeah, so it's for protection rain making luck. So I kind of like that. I don't want to mix it with rainwater because why does it say rain making on it? Clove buds, which I love clove buds. They're really good for money and they sound so magical. So I use all of these herbs in my herb jars and we have some herb jars over here that I will get to soon. So that's kind of what I use them for. We have wormwood for animal communication and psychic workings and protection. We have some buckeye hole and we have some Copal. These both are new to me. Um, my newest herbs. I started using these ones recently. I just used one of these and I believe it's this one. So I this one's for pur purification, protection, and prosperity. And these buckeyes, it's so crazy guys because I used to see these in my grandma backyard just like laying there. Like I don't even know what it is, but I s used to play with these when I was little. Like they would fall from my grandma's like trees or something. Like her backyard, she just had these. So, um, so basically, you take one, you wrap a dollar around it, and you carry it with you, and it attracts prosperity. Just some crystals over here. Um, I did find this one up north in um, a magical garden, guys. It was so beautiful i didn't want to take a lot of things but this crystal was needed and i've had it for years now and it's so beautiful i love it so much so up here on my altar i have all my witchy books just because it kind of goes with it and i've basically read all of them the uh witch's coven was actually my first book um and i've actually had quite a few covens uh over the years um, I didn't really know too heavily what it was gonna be about because it was my first witchy book ever So I wasn't too sure about like the word coven, but I learned a lot and I have had so many covens now I've had like three different covens Psychic witch we got a tarot book Meditation book how to communicate with spirits was one of my favorites um, I think it was like a lady's perspective on her like realizing her gifts, but I just feel like it was super um, it was super relatable. Cancer book because that's my zodiac sign. Witchery. Witchery was a really good book. Um, it's good for beginner spells. I think there is quite a few spells in here, but it kind of explains which energy and how to channel that and everything like that. Dreams is one of my favorite books. It's just like when you have an apocalypse dream like one time i had an apocalypse dream i just remember i had one one time and i still remember it so deeply but it basically just tells you why uh you had that type of dream and then like there's other like there's shorter explanations like if you have a dream about a cell phone it explains why it's just like a really good dream book so if you wake up from a dream you're confused this one is so beautiful. I honestly haven't started this one and I'm in the middle of reading like others right now. And then I started this book too. Basically tells you how to go on a quest and like what a quest is. I got this book, this book, this book, and this book, and the other book all for like a dollar because I found a really magical uh, spiritual vintage shop and all the books were on sale and super cheap. We have this spell book, which there's real life spells in here. And this is honestly the spell book I used to use when I first got into magic. Now I can kind of go off my intuition, but these spells are really cool. Get your X back spell. I'm good, but like you could do that. Reap reward spell, attract money spell. And then it gives you all the instructions, what you'll need and how to do it. And then there's, uh, so there's specific dates to do these on, but in the back of the book, you can also do some anytime. And then there's also like full moon and new moon spells, which happens once a month. So there's options. And, and these are just all my favorite books. And they kind of like go with my personality and describe. And like I have an emotional connection to some of them. This crystal is beautiful. We love her. This one is a money candle. Um, so if you get uh, an intention candle with it already set, I would set new intentions because you don't really know who makes them. Um, and what their energy was behind me. And I have some little trinkets up here. We have a bell. I usually use this bell before readings or to clear some energy. 
Um, this is from a music video shoot I did. And it was really special to me and I honestly feel like that music video like is gonna go really far in life eventually. Um, and it was just a really, it was a really good music video. It's special to me, so I put it up there on my altar. And then I have this coin that my grandma gave me. She's from England. Oh, she's from England. And this is a coin the Queen of England is on. And it's a really thick coin. It's probably really old too. Um, so yeah, it's like, I obviously have British ancestors. So I keep it up here. Every day I pull some starseed oracle cards because i don't know this is my favorite oracle deck ever and it means so much to me so these are the ones i pulled today um big picture thinking and i have a message on the back and earth pulsing and i have messages on the back of them and then we got all my tarot decks so this is my mini deck we used to keep it in the car like a traveling deck uh, this deck I usually use for clients. This deck is so cute. Okay, so let me give you a little backstory. This is my favorite deck and I've had it forever. I got it in Cali, California, and I feel so connected to it. Like, this is my favorite deck ever. And I just used it for so long. I needed a new deck because the energy, there was just so much energy on it. So I got this deck. Now I felt super connected to this deck. And... And then I've had that one for a while after, and then I recently just got this deck. So this is my newest deck right here, and it is so cute. It's this deck, actually, and it's so cute. And we have the Lover's Oracle, so that's more for, like, love readings. And on this altar is magical things, like tarot decks and crystals. First of all, I just want to talk about this one because this is my newest one and I just got it from the Renaissance Festival and I was just talking about the ocean and how I need to move there so badly and this looks like the ocean. That's why it caught my eye and then I turned it over and I seen Caribbean so it's literally going to lead me to the ocean. I also, it started transforming my life around as soon as I got it. So make sure that you're going for the crystals that you feel called to. Uh, whatever catches your eyes and then I placed it by some blue, blue calcite because it's calming and all of my other crystals over here we have chakra tree amethyst citrine pyrite rose quartz um, all of these baby crystals I got these four at the same time I've always wanted these this is fairly new it's not too new but these all led me to a really meaningful place in my life they lead me to so many different places like if you pick a different crystal every day and you carry it with you you're gonna have a different outcome depending on the different crystals so i just love these crystals so much these ones are so cute and i love the sunstone all of them then we have my cactus quartz i love her i usually keep her around when i'm like doing arty stuff like drawing or painting or needing like a creative boost pyrite is really good for money we have malachite um this one is really strong and powerful like i got this one and my life kind of took a turn mm, for the better but at the time i thought it was really chaotic hematide quartz i don't know but it was like i never heard of it but it's so powerful it holds a lot of energy i feel like it has like five crystals in one like that's how powerful i feel like it is and then of course i love um these towers the towers always i meditate with uh, a tower every day of amethyst and then i meditate with this one because it's like kind of like a quartz too and i'll just like put them in my hands so it like charges up my energy this one was a, uh, a point a tower quartz but half of it broke so i put that other half in a necklace and i wear it when i'm trying to get shit done if you know what i mean because this is tiger's eye and it can really motivate you me and my twin have the same crystal and i feel like it's like we each have a half like because we're like one whole and then we we're a half so i cannot think of the fucking name 
and then we have the pyramid of rose quartz at the um, front I feel like it kind of just went with all the energy I feel like that's where it should be we have Bastet here who led me to the key so this is a really powerful um cat from Egypt his name is Bastet and he holds a lot of wisdom and if you see him he'll guide you to the right path and lead you to the key of Egypt and he's so cute because I love kitties so much he is on top of my manifestation journals whatever right in here I know will manifest so I always use it like during a full moon or a new moon or when I'm in that manifesting energy this one is blank papers so i usually use this one for spells and then we have my wands i actually won a raffle at a spiritual shop and i got to pick anything um and i wanted for free and i picked this wand it's so magical this is a crystal to enhance manifestations and spell work that's what it's specifically for so i set it on top of my reality box and if you guys don't know what a reality box is a manifestation box you need to check out my video on manifestation boxes and reality boxes everything you put inside becomes your reality so right now I, I have herbs, that's why the bottom looks a little bit dirty. So I only have two manifestations in there right now, so I really need to get on my shit again. But uh, my other one is completely full and I had to make a new reality box. I've done it so many times and I've gotten a really powerful, honestly. And I feel like I don't even really need to physically write down anymore some information i feel like i can do it all mental but sometimes it's just a little extra powerful to write it down because once you write it down like it's real you know also my magical red pen okay, so up here we just got a chakra tree healing i'm trying to align my chakras more i didn't really do any of the wall stuff this is a tapestry of a fairy home garden mushroom land it's just a magical land that I would love to live in. So every month I'll flip this and it kind of just shows um, like this is Libra, October season. Um, and so each day it'll tell you what the moon is in, what the moon phase is, and like some more information too. I'm a good witch because sometimes me telling people I'm a witch scares people so I just have to let it be known that I'm a good witch and um, we have oils up here so witchling Academy I kind of already gave you the background of that it's a tarot deck and then also I made a song called witch Academy and I found this the day after I released that song so I was like I need this deck also, I love that it says Witch Academy because this is literally a Witch Academy. I'm teaching witches right now. Other witches are teaching me. I'm teaching other witches. This is a Witch Academy. This I got this yesterday at the Renaissance Festival. The main reason why I got it was to inspire me to make my own bottle like this. It has water in it. I don't know if I want to dump it out and like put my own moon water in there or if I want to leave the water in there because there's like sparkles in it every full moon every new moon or whatever whatever moon phase i'm feeling i'm gonna leave it outside so it's just always pure like moon water it's so cool and the top is like sealed with wax It looks a little bit different at first, but it has been in my altar for a while now. So it's kind of turning a little brown. Like these clothes were literally dark brown and now they're like beige. This one was like an example on TikTok actually. And I was teaching people how to bring someone back into your life. These ones were for like prosperity and one of them was for love. This is my newest herb jar that I made. And I'm just not gonna put any liquid in it because I think that's why it turns all like brown. But it has some herbs in it some bay leaves some a uh, uh, little gold uh gem cloves it has a lot of herbs in it and then it was sealed with a money candle and then also has a penny on top of it so what this uh jar does it's gonna bring a lot of intensity into your life and knowledge so much knowledge this is like a really like woke jar so this is gonna bring you 
the key so here's the key right here and you guys i just found the key like i don't really know how to explain it but bastet led me to the key and if you want to be led to the key the key of knowledge the key of life the key of it all like understanding legit everything like for what it is and becoming so woke so woke um this jar is just filled with so much of it and i'm going to sell it and guess what i'm gonna sell it with i'm gonna make more gonna make more gonna make different kinds for different things like really attracting love the right the right soulmate into your life you know but anyways this one is the first one i made in my collection that i'm gonna be selling then they all come with a picture so this is her this is the i'm gonna like laminate it and like maybe put it in a picture frame or something but so these these all go together and then i'm gonna be also it comes with the key so it's like a package the love one's gonna be more of like a love one and the money one is gonna be more of like a green girl you know but this one is the woke one this one is full of knowledge and then this is a spell i did on the blood full moon i went to a witchy bar i made a vlog about it there's literally a witch hangout spot near me and like you go there to do spells so um this right here keep cash i kind of want to start not keeping cash because i feel like it's kind of easier almost to attract more money if you keep it in your bank account keep it in here because it's like a money jar so it's like i do not chase i attract i attract wealth attract abundance prosperity and then we have a bunch of herbs in here that are like for money attracting money and then we have a money crystal green adventuring candle tea leaves with essential oils crisp mint and white tea put this dragon incense burner and it was a lot taller it was like all the way up here but it broke but it's still usable and it's still super cute pens and everything i need to create this is my planner underneath it for like social media stuff like youtube and tiktok and stuff like that if i want to plan but i kind of usually don't use it because i just like winging i like winging my videos and then we have a plan t who's honestly doing really good like i feel like this plant knows how to really survive honestly like I like the trunk, it reminds me of a palm tree. So yeah, that was like basically my altar. So I do my magic right here. Well, I'm doing a spell or creating whatever it is I'm doing, a tarot reading. I like to sit in my seashell chair and do it.